What's up, guys? It's Victory Monday. Oh, my gosh. Everybody was talking all the craziness about how we lost to the Jets. Newsflash, I do believe the Patriots get an L today. Um, it's going to be hard. Of course, it's Tom Brady and it's Bill Belichick. But I do believe the Jets are very capable of, of getting a win today. Uh, so that might make y'all feel a little bit better about last week. But <clears throat> we're not here to talk about last week. We're here to talk about this week. And last night, the boys did not hesitate off to a fast start. Like I said, we needed from we needed to uh, dominate the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. And did we do that e fuck immediately with a uh, tank off the edge? Uh, what a great play. Uh, a sack fumble. And then I'm pretty sure it was it uh, Malik Collins that picked it up. I think it was I, I looked at the stats, but I forgot. I'm pretty sure it was Collins, but it could be somebody else. But like I said, uh, it sucks. Real quick, um, Quinn and uh, LVE, they're going to be fine. Uh, they probably would have came back in the game if uh, if the staff would have let them. Uh, I know you'll see that Pro Bowl uh, 9 right there. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the shit right there. Anyways, I uh, got Witten back there. I didn't think he was coming back this year. He came back, but uh, awesome. He actually made some plays too. Awesome. Dude is like a turtle out there and still knows exactly where to be in a defense to make a play. Uh, best friend right there for a quarterback that wants to go down and kick a field goal. Right there. That's the best friend. Multiple times in his career has he done that. So easily. Seven yards, out of bounds. Seven yards, out of bounds. Seven yards, out of bounds. Kick a field goal. This time it was a 60-plus yard field goal, but damn! Anyways, all right. I'm excited. Um... So, the dynamic duo played really good at the beginning of the game and caused a fumble. They both hit this dude and the ball at the same exact time and caused a fumble. If that's not the dynamic duo making a play to start the game, holy crap, what a fumble, what a fumble recovery. Um, we start off fast, go up 14-0 immediately. I mean, the game just started, turn it on. You missed, you went to a pee break, it was 14-0. You're like, holy shit, what are the Cowboys doing out here? Anyways, um, uh, feeding Zeke, like I said, 20-plus carries, we win the game. He had 22 and 111 yards. 111 yards, 20 carries, 22 carries, and six catches, I believe. Yeah, six catches. Unbelievable. And Amari Cooper, all the shit that everybody wanted to talk. It's too high of a price. He's not good enough. He's going to quit on your team. This dude has constantly, since he got here, has made this team unbelievably better. He unbelievably better, and he's made Dak's job way easier. Um, Dak uh, played very well today or last night. Um, he still has a little bit of accuracy issues, but nothing that the receivers can't 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 handle. Nor can they catch. I mean, they should be able to catch it. Um, even the backwards, uh, the back. Uh, the pass to Cooper inside the five. Um, yeah, Cooper, not Cooper. Mike Gallup, Mike, uh, Mike Gallup. God damn, I can't speak worth the fluff right now. Um, 13 uh, inside the five. He slipped a little bit. The ball was thrown behind him. He could have caught it. It bounced up. Whatever, whatever. Um, shit like that happens. I mean, you want to see the keep, you want to see the receiver catch that, but you also want to see the quarterback. Make it a little easier for him. But, hey, Dak could have thrown it better. Michael could have caught it. Um, uh, he had that one pick at the uh, – he was trying to go for a dagger. And I had Cooper on my fantasy team, so I'm not mad at him. I mean, he took a shot. It was in double coverage. It got picked. The, the DB made a, a pretty nice play on the ball. Picked it in the end zone. No big deal. Uh, it was a pick, so it goes down on the stats line. And everybody talks mess. And it was literally – I tweeted because the Eagles fans got me all in my feelings a couple of weeks ago and today, or and against the, like against the Saints and the Jets, and who else did we lose to? Oh, I can't even remember now. Anyways, but they got um, they got in my feelings a little bit, and they were like, "Imagine throwing a pick to the Redskins or whatever," and I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." And then Carson Wentz throws a pick, and I my my 
I remember it immediately, and I go to Twitter, and I was like, imagine throwing a pick to a team that only has two on the season. And then Dak goes out there and throws a pick. And I was like, I should have just shut up, man. I should. You don't win with hate. You don't win with hate. You win with awesome positivity and the willing to fight harder than the other guy. That's how you win. You don't win by talking shit. It, it, it helps when you talk shit and you can do the other things. It just makes the other person feel bad about themselves. It's like being a bully when you're talking shit. You're being a bully. I should have been a bully. I should have just looked at the kid that was on the ground and be like, it sucks to be on the ground, bro. It sucks. Here, here, get up. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's going to be okay. You can look forward to next week. But no, I had to talk shit, and then Dak goes to pick, and I'm like, if that's not instant karma. Um, but Dak played very well. So uh, everybody that wants to be on Dak's case, shut the fuck up. Uh, I mean, I am a huge, as you can see, I am a huge Romo fan. Massive Romo fan. Shut the fuck up about Dak. He's fine. He's fine. I'm not going to compare him to Wentz, Goff, all that shit. He is exactly what the Cowboys need. And he's exceeding expectations. Shut the fuck up. Just leave him the fuck alone. Um, and all the fucking negative about Tank. Okay. Okay, we get it. He's a pass rusher making a shitload of money. He's got to make plays. He fucking made a play. And it was probably one of the bigger ones that set the tone of the game. And, they, and the Eagles could never get back. Just stop with the negative, man. This team is good. I told y'all this last week. We got surprised by a team with, his, with, their, with their elite quarterback. I do believe Sam Darnold is capable of being elite. We got surprised by their quarterback that hadn't played, and their defense got hella help from their offense. And everybody wanted to talk shit or whatever, and I was like, we got outcoached. That was the problem. And, it, and today, or last night, we didn't get outcoached. Um, we came, I don't know if Jason Garrett or Kellen Moore or whoever got this team ready to play, but they were ready to play as soon as that ball was kicked off. Immediately, they did not hesitate. I don't know if it was Doug Marone's comments or if it was Tank's comments that sparked the fire, but there was a fire lit in Arlington, 100%. Anyways, uh, man, and Cooper, like, come, like, oh my God, like, he's such a badass. He's out there with one leg, making route cuts and doing shit that, Half these receivers can't do regularly. Reg, reg, regularly. Reg, regular. The word. Reg, the word. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, uh, what a great win for the Cowboys. Number one in the East. Uh, we, I don't like really saying we're in control of our own destiny, but uh, we're in control of our own destiny. We just got to keep winning games. That's literally everybody's objective is to continue winning games. Um, but don't get it twisted. I know we destroyed the Eagles, but the next time we play the Eagles, it won't be the same team. They were missing five key players. That, um, it wasn't Lane Johnson. He was playing, but uh, Jason Peters. There is that there. I'm pretty sure it's Jason Peters. Their other tackle. Uh, they were missing uh, Day Day. You know how he destroys us. Pretty much any chance he gets. Um, so. They're probably going to have him back. So the team we played last night is not going to be the team we play in the future. So hold on on the shit talking for a little bit. We can live in this victory and feel the fucking ah for the next 24 hours. Well, today, but tomorrow we got to be on. We got to buy. So we have we can we can literally just kind of vibe out for a little while. Actually, uh, we can we can live in this victory more, especially if everybody loses next week. We can. uh Keep up the loving feelings that we have of the star. Uh, but like I said, this team is good. We're going to the playoffs. And we can do damage. We have the ability to do damage. Especially with Pauler. Holy shit. Pauler in the third quarter is, and the fourth quarter was unbelievable. If we can continue doing that, um, the one-two punch and having Zeke healthy at the end of games are are juiced at the end of games and having Pollard there just to like dynamic do like I can't keep saying that but just like a one-two punch it's awesome uh it reminds me of Arian Foster and Ben Tate just a little bit different they're kind of the same running back but one's a little bit more power uh Arian Foster being the Pollard comparison and Ben Tate being the uh, Zeke comparison but they're not on the same level you know what I mean but I'm just saying like that's a comparison one-two punch that we could have, and it could work. It looks like it might work very well. Um, 
Tyvon Austin is just so fucking awesome to see. He's so amazing. He's so shifty and uh, every, all the times you look at the Rams and you just see him doing like crazy shit, it just feels good for him to do some crazy shit for us. Like the first touchdown of the game, that was pretty cool. Uh, the little uh, stop and, and then he can go and then like literally leave this dust, <laughs> leave this dude in the dust. It was great. Um, Dak is a uh, ah he 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 finished a little couple of runs to uh, last night by like <laughs> finishing the run. And uh, I just need him to calm down a little bit. It reminds me of uh, of Watson last year, uh, getting a little bit too hype at the goal line or, or trying to run for a play and taking a hit that he does not need to take. I mean, I don't think he took too many hits today. He kind of fell well. He uh, stiff-armed and kind of was dragged down a little bit tonight. I don't think he got hit as much, um, like like super hit, anything that made you like, holy shit, is he going to get up? I mean, any time Romo got hit, I literally had a heart attack. Um, but, yeah, I wish he would kind of – I like the running. Don't get me wrong. It's very clutch. It, very, it helps us out a lot. But uh, let's just get down a little bit. You know what I mean? Let's, get, let's, let's calm down. We don't need to get an extra five yards. The uh, the sneak <laughs> – the first sneak where he went and then he got like – I think he got the first down and then he got like extra six yards afterwards. Like, <laughs> like shit like that. Like this Eagles team was not ready was not ready. They thought they were coming in and playing a bunch of chumps, and they realized real quick that we some champs out here. We we, we can play ball, all right? And uh, get ready for the Eagles' excuse. You still haven't played anybody that's good. <laughs> oh, Eagles fans, you make it too easy. Anyways, great win by the Cowboys. Live it up, guys. We got to buy. So hopefully the Eagles don't win next week, and we don't have a tie. Well, we won't be tied, but... The, the records won't be uh, flustered. So, like I said, maybe the Eagles make our uh, life out a little bit easier to take another L next week. Uh, Giants, I picked the Giants to win. Uh, they didn't, so that's good. Uh, Redskins lost the game in, like, the pouring ass rain. Uh, that was kind of funny. Uh, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it, man. Um, like I said, Quinn and AVE... AVE uh, they they're fine. They would have came back and played in the game if they if they let them, but uh, they held they held them out. Uh, we didn't need them. Sean Lee. I mean, like imagine that. Like one of our star linebackers goes out, and then Sean Lee comes in and just. I mean, he doesn't come in. He moves. I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure he moved from this side to that side, or from outside to inside, or from. I don't know what he was playing, but I'm pretty sure he took live spot. Um, <sighs> Feed Zeke. I mean, damn. Like, I told you. I told y'all. Um, other than that, what a fucking win, man. We're living high right now. We're loving life. Um, how about them Cowboys, guys? Peace.